Hey, it's Jason with Jams.net, cars, DIY, and adventures, and today it's a bit of a DIY adventure that I'm going to be talking about. If you follow this channel, you know that we have quite a few different gardens set up, and I've had one trick this season that has basically saved me from losing quite a bit of stuff that we're growing, and we have been in the middle of a pretty bad drought. We had I don't know, a month of no rain. And I was even on vacation in Tennessee during that time period. Luckily, we're getting rain now and it's not as big of an issue. But I'm gonna show you how you can configure this in a couple minutes and benefit with some automation for your garden when drought-like conditions exist. Stay tuned, let's go. Now you could probably tell from the thumbnail, it is a timer, an irrigation timer. It's a very affordable timer by BN Link. They, uh, they are a sponsor of jams.net and they sent us lots of home automation solutions over the past couple months. And this is a standalone irrigation timer that has saved my butt this summer because it was dry. I even had to water my grass at a point. And I only did that because of the dogs, just a section where they go, which is not common. This is a pumpkin harvest. You can see various yellow pumpkins that have grown. They look a little rough now. Um, these started really early in the season. These are the late pumpkins. So these would be closer, uh, ready closer to the actual fall and whatnot. So we have various pumpkins here. We've had a killer tomato crop this year. Boatloads of tomatoes. Look at all the tomatoes just waiting to be picked in here. So very good crop with tomatoes this year. You saw me install this bed this year. It's a new one. I really like the metal raised bed. We have the older wood bed it's kind of the end of the season now i wanted to wait till the end of the season to show this but we had zucchini galore tomatoes herbs just boatloads of stuff the wild flowers are kind of transitioning to the later season wild flowers but um we just had boatloads of wild flowers that grew. This is the first year i had a good peach harvest i've picked most of the peaches off this tree uh, doubt you see any left unless it's really high. I need to prune this tree better, but we had a great peach harvest this year. We also had a really good planter box harvest. These are a little out of control right now because it's the end of the season, but I was just testing this this year. We also grew a pumpkin back there, but the reason why, because we had to water. There was a point where the grass up here was basically turning to dirt because it was just so dry. And I haven't used a tripod hose at this property in years because we haven't had to. And you can see I got hoses running, tripod hoses, how tripod, um, tripod devices, sprinklers so the tripod sprinklers could water everything. We got some herbs up here. We grew some wildflowers, all kinds of good stuff. So we have about three acres. We even have a bunch of garden in the front. But let's talk a little bit about why this was so important. I, sorry, let's talk less <laughs> about why this was so important. I think you get the point. Let's just show the unboxing. And I'm going to hook it up on a hose where you can actually see it very easily. And I'll show you how to configure it. This is cheap. It's affordable. And if you have gardens, I'm in Maryland, so the Mid-Atlantic region. But, you know, if you have gardens and go on vacation, you need to water them. If you're going into drought-like conditions... All of this I've also had to water. Wildflowers, tons of wildflowers up here, hydrangea bush, and then we had a ton more of wildflowers up there. But let's go have a seat in the lower patio garden and let's unbox this. See what this is all about. It's a brand new one. I wanna show you it from the beginning of how this actually works. 
So again, this is the BN Link irrigation timer. Pretty simple device when it's all said and done. It basically has a built-in timer and the built-in timer will start. You can configure the frequency and of course how long it will run. I was doing mine in the morning and it would turn on and various sprinklers and such uh, drip hoses would go off. And the great thing is this irrigation timer is only 20 bucks. It's 19 bucks on Amazon. It comes with a warranty. It's a 30 day warranty. It is made of plastic. So the endpoints are gonna be plastic. It's 1.5 inches deep, 4.3 inches wide, and two and a half inches tall. So you get your washer for the end of where, well, they give you an extra one. This already has one in it, but you get your, um, your little gasket here, your little washer to go in. It comes with two AAA batteries, and then you have the actual timer. Now, I have another version of a timer, and it's a lot more complicated. This one, you just kind of turn the dial and say, you know, what time is it? You go to set clock. You can manually cut it on. You can manually cut it off. Or you can say, uh, you know, however you want it to, uh, to run based on the timer. The instructions are pretty basic as what you'd expect, right? You can, um, you know, click it on and it can just turn on. You can use a delay button. Uh, this is going to be your water and it has a filter, which every hose typically does. That's your output. When I said it was plastic, the threads are plastic. They're not brass fittings. So uh, keep that in mind, you know. Uh, I, I try to install these in an area where it's somewhat protected. You know, your battery enclosure has a little tiny gasket there, but these are not designed to be getting soaked by any stretch of the imagination. When I use this, I, uh, I never had to replace the batteries. But uh, if you're going on like a vacation or something and the batteries have been in for a bit, just throw some new ones in. These are Fly Deer Alkaline AAA batteries, but they seem to have worked a couple months for me with, uh, with no issues at all. That just kind of snaps in and the gasket forms. And then you can see that you actually get the ability to begin setting the clock. If it looks fuzzy, this is a brand new one I'm showing. I bought two of these. You can go ahead and remove this and it's not going to look nearly as fuzzy. Once you put the batteries in, you're going to want to set the clock and you just turn that to set clock and use the plus or minus button to change it. Right now it is 2.50 p.m. So I'm going up to 2. Oop. 2.50 p.m. After you hit that, you hit OK. To actually set it, you would want to go to start time. So you just go over here and you would use the plus and minus buttons to start it. So in my case, I'm gonna go ahead and imagine I want it to start at 3 p.m. So I would go to 3 p.m. and I would say, okay. So now at 3 p.m. it's going to start. So the next step is if it starts at 3 p.m. for how long, the default is one hour and 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and just decrease that to 30 minutes and say okay and turn it and that like sets it. So 3 p.m. cut on for 30 minutes. Next you wanna say for how often. So do you want this to be daily? Do you want this to be, you know, every one to 12 hours or every seven to, you know, one to seven days so you can turn it and you would go to how often and there's 19 different intervals one hour two hour three hour four hour five six seven eight one day two day three day or seven days so you could say well i only want this to be active for two days or one day we're going to go ahead and do ours for every every day is what we're going to do so every single day cut on you could change that again, depending on what you want to do. So you could say, I want to cut it on every two days, but we're going to keep it at every day. Now at this point, it's programmed. So you go to one and it's going to cut on based on the settings that you have. So at 3 p.m., it's going to cut on for 30 minutes and it would do that every single day. 
So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to a hose. I'm going to hook it up to a hose that isn't, you know, uh, one that I would, you know, typically use. Generally, and how I had it set up, I had it hooked right here um, on this end one. And then I had it, well, actually, it was actually the stainless steel hose because it was going out back. I had it hooked like that, and it was running. But I don't need to do it anymore because that irrigation is not needed given it's, you know, kind of towards the end of the season. We're looking at fall before we know it. So I'm just going to hook it up to this hose right now just so you can get an idea of how it will function. So I have it screwed on. And when I mention I don't have it hooked up anymore, when I'm not using it and I don't need it, I don't just keep it hooked up. It's plastic. I don't want to have anything crazy happen. I'm going to go ahead and just drape it like that because what you would typically have here is this will be going to a hose and then all the water would flow. I'm going to go ahead and cut the water on. The water is now on, but it is not coming out because we have a few minutes that we can, uh, that we can wait before it starts up. Okay, it is 2.59 p.m. on the timer, and the next start is at 3 p.m. Again, I've set this to run every day at 3 p.m. There you go. Like clockwork, it turned on, and it's running for 30 minutes. You can see on the timer, it tells you how much time is left, and then it will run for 30 minutes i'm not going to let all that water waste for 30 minutes but when it's done it will go like that so then the next run will be tomorrow again so it's a pretty darn cool timer i'm a big fan of it it saved my butt with irrigation we are on a well and i don't like just dripping things and then if i forget about it absolute thumbs up 20 bucks you can't beat that you can't even pay the neighborhood kid to come water now probably probably a good thing to pay the neighborhood kid to come check on things and maybe do some modeling just to support their small business but you get my point thumbs up i love this i hope you found this video helpful who knew you needed a video about a timer they're pretty self-explanatory but i've bought a lot of timers and some have been absolute junk this one's very basic but it does a great job thanks for tuning in be sure to give jams.net a subscribe on youtube cars diy and adventures tons of cool things we hope to see you in some other videos have a great day